What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. So we have another new project going on at the same time with the semi truck over there in the background. So you might be wondering to yourself, like, what, what, what the heck is this? Uh, so this is a forklift and um, you might be wondering, what the heck, why am I doing a forklift? Why am I building this? So you might be wondering, you might be thinking, you might go over the semi truck I'm building in the background. It has nothing to do with that. It's something special. So I'll explain right here so if you don't know I know a lot of you don't know some of you do know where I work but just in case I'll tell you where I work I work with forklifts just in case you all didn't wonder where I worked so I work with forklifts I work with a small business is local here in town it's called the Sun Tier Lift and um, it's just me my boss and one other co-worker it's just really small but uh, what we basically do is my boss and my other co-worker, they go out, they have a van and they, um, you know, they fix breakdowns. They go to businesses and fix breakdowns like, you know, UPS for instance, they fix UPS, they fix UPS forklifts, they fix FedEx, you know, all kinds of forklifts at like local businesses we have here and they fix them. So what I do, you might be wondering what the heck I do. So. I work at the shop at the shop because uh, we have a local shop, and uh, my boss actually buys the forklifts. We buy some of them and we sell them. That's what we kind of do. But then, what my job is, I make them look brand new again. Yeah, um, I paint forklifts. I shut them down. I make. I turn these old, junky, you know, beat up forklifts, and I make them look brand new again. So. That's why we're doing a forklift. I'm gonna do this one. This is for my boss because my office, well, we kind of share, we all share offices. It's just one big, big office. And I'm gonna build this for my boss, put it in a case, and hopefully he'll put it on his desk, which I know he will. And I'll see you every day, and that'll be pretty good and cool. So let's go ahead and show you what the futures the forklift has. I'll kind of explain how everything, how everything works. This kit is actually pretty darn detailed. So this is a Fujimi Toyota. Uh, Toyota forklift, Genino, it's called, kind of cool name. So Toyota, every brand makes different kind of forklifts. They're all different sizes and that stuff. So this is a very cool forklift. I never, we never had this forklift, but it's you know a typical forklift. So it is a Toyota, and it's a very cool Toyota makes. Just in case you didn't know, Toyota makes a really good forklifts. Toyota, they're, they're, it's just like their cars. You know, Toyota, Toyota cars are really really high quality i mean they like never break down so um it, it goes the same with forklifts so this is a toyota forklift genio janino is called and it's actually very cool so let's go ahead and show you what we are doing so doing so far to it so it's actually multiple pieces so you do get the frame here which there's no engine obviously because it's a very tiny tiny model uh, typically the engine will be in here and then you know dry sh the transmission no dry shaft no. And, no, very little forklifts have dry shaft there's a few has dry shafts but none of them have dry shafts most of them like 99 percent of them like connect straight to the axle of the thing so but there's the main frame we're gonna probably just do this black because it's nothing really special it's just yeah so that's that we got the hood right here slash floor so the hood is where the actually the engine sits, sits under so right here we the engine so that's where the engine sits and then where your feet are that's the transmission so that's you know so the hood so the toyota's every single forklift has their own paint scheme there's a yale there's mitsubishi there's well they, they used have nissan until they got bought out i forgot what the name it's called but the Nissan got bought out um, there's Heister which is basically the same as uh, Yale it's their own from the same company you just do different paint scheme basically and there's Doosan there's all kinds of companies out there so this is a Toyota so Toyota has their own paint scheme I know it's yellow but it's not yellow Toyota don't do yellow forklifts their paint scheme is in three colors which the main color of the thing is orange so um, so basically what's orange is gonna be a counterweight well the majority of it will be 
Uh, so the counterweight and in this case, you know, you know what the counterweight is. It's the thing that goes on the back of a forklift and it just so it can carry loads in the front without the thing tipping over on its front wheels. So the counterweight is mostly going to be orange and then down here, every model is different. So I believe, I'm not, I gotta look up some pictures on this model. I believe most of them have like the second color is on the bottom half of the counterweight and then the top half is like orange or on Toyota sometimes the top half is like a gray and then the bottom half is orange. So I gotta look up some pictures of this forklift because we never, I actually never had this forklift in the shop. So I'm not really sure. Every single forklift is different from each manufacturer. So Toyota does they make 50 different brand of forklifts and their paint scheme is really different on each one. But every single one is the same color. It's orange and then a secondary color. So also here we're talking about orange. Orange is also always on the side of the forklift of Toyota's. So um, that's when we are orange. And then the secondary color is from Toyota is a very dark gray. Uh, they use very really dark gray. So that's what we use. It's just dark gray, obviously. So typically the parts that are dark gray is the head guard starts right here to that seam line and then the whole head guard and roof is all gray so and then the hood on Toyota's are dark gray also so we're gonna do that dark gray then the floor is which you typically black so we'll probably hand paint that or mask it off and paint black and then like I said I'm not sure about on this model maybe it's all orange I don't, I don't know but like I said sometimes Toyota's are dark are dark gray on, on the top or just on the bottom or sometimes it's just all one bulk of a color just orange but um so you know, yeah that's basically what toyota works with and then the second the third color most four us are two two are two-tone colors like yale the yellow you, you typically is yellow and black but toyota they, they're like a three-tone paint job so orange and dark gray is the main ones and then the black is a, is a third color and a, the black goes on the mass which is what the, it's what we call this that's what it's called it's been typically the mass that connects to the forks so here's the backing cage you want to call it i'm not really sure what this is what this is called to be honest so that connects right in there somehow right there there we go and then the forks all right there they are We'll go in here and then so this is you know it's called a mask and it brings the forks up and down it the typical thing is it tilts it back and then another thing is it moves the forks side to side so but the mass the the backing guard you want to call it cage and then the forks are typically black on the fork on toyota's so that's gonna get painted black and then the dashboard is also black or always black it's dashboard is always plastic so we'll just do like a semi you know kind of glossy black on the dashboard so we glued the dashboard then we shot the dashboards in two pieces and then you get the center and you get the steering column that was in two pieces and then the steering wheel so we glued it all one bulk of a unit because it's basically all the steering wheel and everything is all, you know the black is there's not really much difference so we do all that assembly on there and then we get the controls here which are which control the forks these are typically what toyota is toyota Muji makes these because the bars here are the same color gray or sometimes they're black it depends so i'll try this i'll go explain each one to you so the forks or the the these guys will go right here next to the you know steering wheel and stuff so it's gonna be facing this way so this first one this one right here and <laughs> my camera focus this one right here the far the far left one that one moves the forks up and down so you pull it down the forks will go up and then you pull the, the you know trigger up the forks will go down so that's what that done that one does the middle one moves the bean or the mass side by up or up, you know you know like that tilts it so you move it down move if you move the control down it tilts the mass back and then you move it up it tilts the mass forward so that's what the middle one does and then the last one the far right one that one moves the forks left and right so so 
I'll give you an example like a cage. It'll move this part right here. And then, so you pull it, if you pull the trigger down, it moves the map, the um, fit forks on your right side. So it typically go this side and then you move it up, it goes left. So that's, that's, I think I explained it enough to you. <laughs> Hopefully I did. But that's what these controls are do. And then there is a shifter, which this one does. It's on, on this one, it's on the one side. But there is a shifter. The shifter is usually on the uh, right side or, or left side of the steering wheel. And that makes it to go forward or reverse. But for this one, I've never seen this on any forklift. Maybe this one just has it. I'm not sure. So it has the two more triggers. Now, like I said, I, I don't know what these do, to be honest, because we never had a forklift with these two more triggers. And these ones actually go on the floor, I believe, on the... I'm not really sure. It goes somewhere down. Yeah, it goes right here. So I've, I've, I've actually never seen that before. Um, our forklifts... I, yeah, I never seen, I never seen triggers like that on the floor. So I'm not really sure. Maybe that's the reverse and forward. But typically, the reverse and forward is on the is it's it's like a hand control. It's like you know next to the steering wheel. Uh, you got the wheels here. You got your steer wheels, which are your back wheels, and they're called steer wheels because their back wheels are steering. So they're smaller. So we got those all sanded. Well, actually, you just got glue on the backings. That's it. So. They we're gonna paint those black, and then Toyota they use black wheels. So we'll put some we'll put some gloss in the uh, wheels themselves, and then you got the drive wheels right here. Drive wheels are bigger, obviously, and we'll do them black. And like I said, we'll gloss the wheels themselves because Toyota they use black wheels. So another thing is we're gonna do is the forks. Now the forks you can do whatever color you want, you want the forks to be. Uh, forks are, they're mainly black. Most of them are black, but you can do them in red. I've seen orange ones before. I've seen yellow ones. I um, so you can basically do the forks in any color you want. But we're gonna do them black because black is the typical color for them. And then what I do when I paint um, a new forklift, or when I paint a forklift, I paint the whole thing black, and then I'll mask off right about on here, and then I'll paint the tips of the forks red. Red or yellow, whatever type of color, because you know, if you're outside and you're on pavement, and you know, the forks kind of blend in with the pavement. So, the red tip really helps the driver see where the tip of the forks are, so he knows where to get, you know, so he knows where the end of the forks are without hitting the wall or whatever. So, that's pretty much about it. You got, this, you got the seat here, the seat, you know, just attaches on, and you know, that attaches onto the hood. Like so, so that looks very cool. The seats, you know, seats are black, of course. They're never any color, but that's that. As it's a very simplified kit, but it's a very cool kit. I mean, it's pretty detailed for what the heck it is. It does come with two um, pallets, which is actually very cool. So I might actually put some stuff on here. I might put some like parts, like car parts. You know, I got parts in my parts bin I can put on here, or I'll take a something. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna make a little display in this in the display case. I might do a like diamond plating on the display case, paint it aluminum. Just you know, have a little base on there, and I'll put these on there. Obviously, and I'll have some stuff on these pallets. The kit comes with boxes, but I don't really want to put those boxes on there because it's Fujimi and there's a bunch of like Japanese writing on it. So I'll think of something to put on those pallets. But other than that, that's gonna wrap up this video. That's pretty much about it um um yeah that's pretty much about it <laughs> i'll put some pictures at the end of the at the end of this video to show you what i mean i, I do i really do work at a forklift place and i paint them and i make them look brand new so i'll put some pictures on your screen um making like before and after pictures of the forklifts getting built up and repainted and stuff and look brand new i'll explain much more in an update video i just want this going over 15 minutes now so I just want to get this in the video now and I'll explain much more in the, in the next update video because uh, there's a lot more to explain because I know a lot about work this so I think it'd be kind of cool to tell you guys about it but that's gonna wrap up this video and make sure to subscribe if you're new click the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video 
check out the semi truck update video I posted yesterday. I'll put the link in that in that video in the description below. If you want to check that out? But other than that, until my next video, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye for now.